What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? <laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Where do I start? A <laughs> good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? How they mark us! Don't make picks that fast in England. Oh, and you're pretty quick as well. I won the race, but Hermod is the big winner tonight. Oh, no matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though... No. One wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Listen to my words, Toga. Long after the bodies are buried and the house is rebuilt, the Franks will remember this day. All we have is an uneasy truce with Charles. And glory worthy of our ancestors. <laughs> You are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was surprised you gave the boy to Charles. It is an ill fate to be prince to such a lord. You're right, Toga. What I did was not for Bernard. It was for us. And for my clan. Ah, Evor! Cheese throwing? The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. <laughs> Just try not to hit anyone. They need to throw harder than that. 
shame. I guess if you can't beat them, you eat them. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There's much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? I could tell you. Or I could show you. In return, I could also show you a few tricks of the Frankish persuasion. I will have to repay the favor then, with my own set of skills. Shall we find some place quiet then, away from this rabble? Lead the way. That was... nice. It was. I hope you know... well, Eivor, you know how I am. I indulge in the finer things in life. Various fine things, in fact, and... <laughs> Pierre, we both know what this was. Then, good. Is this something they do often, where you are from? I think I might like it there. <laughs> what a mess with secret earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirit. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Secret. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange? That you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads. Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. We fight because we must. Born in blood, doomed to die. Our threats woven by unseen hands. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons, and we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No, I do not believe there is a hole waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grant. We gave Charles our word. Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy, and after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. to go out. 
after him. What do you see, Sunan? <laughs> Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow-starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood in our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself! You have killed yourself, Siegfried. Ha! If that is so, I will embrace the quiet that awaits. I knew it would come to this the moment I saw you! I did not come here to kill you, but I will. Chose this. May you find peace in the Great Hall, and when you drink with Father again, tell him of the glory I won for us.
I thought him a saga hero, never to fall. He was formidable, but stubborn. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirm this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. He says it's urgent. I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. <laughs> 